hand over heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Every morning, from the first grade on, this came droning out of our mouths. A series of syllables congealed into one long continuous phrase. <laughs> it had funny words like indivisible. Nobody bothered to explain anything. I mean, what republic does it stand for? What is a republic? I had no idea what I was saying or why I was saying it. The best I could figure was this was some kind of a stamp of approval. It said that our classroom was respectful, obedient, and in alignment with something very grand and very serious. And good. Yeah, that was important. It was a good thing. You could see it in that red, white, and blue. Those were good colors. It was a good design, too. Very bold and graphic, yet complex enough so you actually had to count. Once people the original colonies. Well, right after the Pledge of Allegiance came our daily song of patriotism with auto harp accompaniment. <laughs> now the auto harp was a very impressive thing. All shiny and black with little round buttons and a gazillion string. It virtually screamed out, touch me. Don't you want to touch me? <laughs> and you could if you volunteered to play the patriotic song. And you got to choose which song. Well, by the fourth grade, I was raising my hand regularly to volunteer. When it came to song selection, my favorites were always the Marines Hymn or Battle Hymn of the Republic. Two very in-your-face, don't fuck with us kind of tunes. <laughs> America the Beautiful, that was okay. But the words were kind of weird. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, forever waves of rain. Who is Amber, and who is she waving to? <laughs> <laughs> for purple mountain majesties. We're in L.A. The mountains are gray, but well, you can see them. I always pictured dry fruit. <laughs> the plains, you know, they get really hot in the summertime. I envisioned this great abundance of prunes and dates spread across the edges. <laughs> Gigantic slice of raisin bread. <laughs> Battle Hymn of the Republic had this really great driving beat. Why not to see the glory of the coming of the Lord? He is traveling on the vintage where the grapes of wrath is joined. More fruit. <laughs> for our nation. <laughs> Fruit, uh, nature, uh, healthy, uh, healthy, we are healthy people, yeah, that's it. Oh, oh and there was always the stuff about God and the Lord and how America would kick your ass if you didn't watch out. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Tripoli, that's Libya, did you know that? <laughs> Back then, I just thought it was some place where people had really wide feet. <laughs> <laughs> we will fight our country's battles in the air, on land, and sea. America was the richest, the smartest, the strongest. We had the best weapons. We won all the wars, and we were the nicest. <laughs> we helped people all over the world. It was good to be American. We were the good guys. First to fight for right and freedom, and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of the United States of What? They did what? But mom, how could they do that? You're an American. <laughs> <laughs>